Hello, you're watching Ellie from Elementary Paper Crafting. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the UK. I showed you briefly Ranunculus Romance the other day when I was um, making another project. So I'm going to be using this today along with the fabulous frames dies. Now, a few videos ago, I showed you how I cut out all these shapes just by laying all the dies um, one on top of each other and I came up with one, two, three, four, I think it was five or six um, frames all at the same time but I'll link to that video in the description box below just so that you can check out how I did it. So from that one cut I got, these are two of the frames that I got and that's what I'm going to use today. Okay, so I'm going to use this stamp, this leaf stamp, and this stamp here just for you. Okay, so let's get started. It's a really quick video today. So I'm going to start by just taking a piece of basic white cardstock. It doesn't matter what size it is because we're going to cut this. And I'm taking that script stamp and the So Saffron stamp pad. And I'm just going to stamp three times using the full strength, full strength ink, like so. One. two, three. Okay. And then using the Just For You sentiment, I'm going to stamp with the Cajun Craze. And also using the Cajun Craze, I'm using that lovely leaf. I love the, the sort of bend in this, I think it's lovely. And I'm going to stamp that right over the top of my little scripty kind of stamp. Like so. And that's all the stamping I'm doing. I'm just going to give that ink um, a few seconds to dry and while I'm doing that I'm using the Cascading Ruffles Embossing Folder which is a new one. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm just going to run that through my embossing machine to get a lovely effect on this piece of cardstock and by the way this piece measures three and seven eighths by five and a half. So that's my embossed cardstock and I think you'll agree that that does look beautiful. Look at the dimension in that. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm going to use the same dies I used before um, for this. So that goes over there and you'll see it fits beautifully over the the yellow so saffron stamping like that. I'm just lining it up and make sure I get all of the yellow in. And then I'll just take in some of my low tack paper. This is like post-it note paper, just to make sure that this stays in the right place. And I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine. So when I peel this paper off, You'll see it doesn't rip the card at all. With this one, what I'm going to do is just stick the frame to the paper around my word so that I can get it fitted absolutely perfectly in the right place. And I'm just going to use my Tombow multi-purpose glue, which I pop into this bottle that has a 
smaller flow at the top so that I can only get a tiny bit of glue out. And then I'm just going to pop that over like so. And I'm just going to give that a minute to dry off. So now that that's dried, I'm going to cut round it. So just get my long bladed scissors. And just cut using the gold as a guide like so and then I'm taking some of our um, double side it's a sticky back double sided it's foam <laughs> and it's sticky on both sides and I'm going to cut that out with the die and I'm going to back this piece with it so that it lifts up from the card. So if I just take that piece of tape again and run this through my die cut machine. So it cuts through beautifully. There's not any problem with it cutting like so. But I want this to be I want to keep it together so I'm not going to peel the whole thing off so that sits on top of there and that sits on top of there now I think if I peel the film off the top the two parts might come apart and I don't want that to happen so I'm actually going to use some double-sided tape to stick this down and then I can stick it together at the same time to stop it coming apart because I want the whole thing stuck together, if you know what I mean. And then if I just fit that in along the cut lines like so and I'm going to add a little bit more tape to these two bottom pieces. not narrow enough to get down there so I've got another roll of really narrow double-sided tape And then I can just, oh, just take these bits off. I forgot about these two pieces. And then I can fit that on the top. Oh, that's just a little bit. You get a couple of seconds to just straighten things up with tear and tape. Not as long as you get with with um, wet glue, but get a couple of seconds so you can just reposition that so it all fits squarely. And if there aren't any little bits that are 
popping out you can just trim them off the trouble with the um foam is when you run any foam through any die cutting machine it it can stretch a little bit but as long as you only pass it through once it shouldn't be too serious so that's just got rid of a little bit of excess round there and then you can bring in your piece of embossed card and then we're going to pop this on the top like so but I always think it's a good idea to fit this piece onto our card base first and the card base is going to be so saffron to match the ink we used let's just clear this space a little bit So I'm going to use my Tombow again to stick this on. Usually helps if you open your card up and you're sticking anything on. And I absolutely love the effect of this um, embossing folder. So I use some more of our double sided foam adhesive to pop on the back of the greeting as well. And you hold your card stock here, you can get your centre point and get it really centred. So I'm just going to get the, if you get the top one centred first because you can see the centre and then you can pop that underneath. So if I just gently remove the backing from this, like so, can you see if I'd done that the other side, I think it would have come apart. So I think that's pretty much in the centre. You've got to be spot on when you do this because you don't get a second chance with the foam tape. Once it's down, it's down. That's it. That's my central point. So that's my very, very quick card today using the Ranunculus Romance stamp set and the fabulous frames dies. Now I think this card would be lovely to send, you could put four in a set and give it as a gift um, or six in a set or something. Um, and you could do them all the same so they match. You could do the same design, different colors. Um, you could perhaps do a couple of these and a couple of those. You could make a set using any, any of the images but just the similar kind of um, design. So I hope you've liked that quick card today. And as usual, it would be wonderful if you click the subscribe button. Um, give me a thumbs up so everyone knows you like my page. Um, subscribing is really important because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, I'm, I'm over 900 now, so it's not far to go. And also in the description box below, there'll be a link to the video I showed you were cutting the frames. There'll be a link to the online digital downloadable catalogues and a link to my online store. So if you'd like to catch me again, I usually broadcast live on a Saturday afternoon, 2.30 BST and on a Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.